story to tell. World War One was one of the wars that had a great impact on human history in all aspects. In terms of science and technology, to how people created a war, from the traditional guns and cannons, the war completely changed with the arrival of aircraft and tanks, ushering in the era of modern warfare and more and more devastation. The first weapon that made war the most dramatic change was the appearance of fighters. It is considered to play a decisive role in shaping modern warfare. This weapon was completely new on the battlefield, and for those who wear it. Besides fighting, aircraft were also used for many different purposes, such as aerial reconnaissance, bombing, or troop transport. However, the role of aircraft in the World War I was still quite limited, partly due to the limitations in aerospace technology at that time. However, thanks to the war, the war aviation industry started to really develop with a series of new applications, not only for military but also civilian purposes. From planes made of wood and paperboard to those made of metal, it has proven the rapid growth of this new industry. The second most important invention in World War I changed the face of war. It was not a murder weapon, but a saving. It was reconstructive surgery. Its emergence essentially saved the lives of thousands or hundreds of thousands of soldiers and civilians injured from lethal weapons. And gave them a new opportunity. This invention today still contributes to the development of war medicine. It not only saves lives, but also helps people regain defective parts of the body due to many different reasons. And this was also one of the rare good things war has brought to mankind. During World War I, fighters first appeared in the air, and on the ground, tanks. These armored vehicles, equipped with machine guns and cannons, when appearing, were like monsters on the battlefield, easily flattening enemy defenses in a short amount of time. The first country in the world to bring tanks into battle was Britain at the Battle of the Somme in 1916. Soon after, other countries also began to bring their first tanks into combat. However, most tanks of this period were too bulky and were easily to disable when facing obstacles so their combat performance was not high. However, since then until now, the tank has quickly become an indispensable weapon on the battlefield, with a more compact and mobile design. 
along with the appearance of tanks. The military doctrine of many countries was also changed to better suit the needs of the battlefield. Among them was the German military doctrine Blitzkrieg. One of the other inventions of the World War I that are still useful to this day is that the spy photos taken from the air. Of course, its birth was intended to serve military purposes with the main task of gathering intelligence or a reconnaissance of the enemy. Most spy photos of this period were taken from low-altitude fighters with relatively low quality but still providing a considerable amount of information about the enemy. In addition, they also helped the military to build the most effective defenses against enemy attacks. With the development of science and technology, pictures taken from the air are now more detailed than ever. They can be captured from a variety of vehicles, such as aircraft, UAVs, satellites, or even hot air balloons. It is also the most widely used military invention in various civilian fields. At the bottom of the list of world-changing inventions is artillery. This force also played a very important role in World War I. The number of models used in this war more than any previous war. The size of the shells also became larger. The destructive power was stronger and more versatile. Even in this period appeared chemical shells, which were not lethal, but made the enemy lose the ability to fight. The concept of super cannons also began to appear with a weight of tens of tons and caliber up to 300 mm, typically among them German cannons. Today, artillery still plays an important role on the battlefield, but on many different levels. It is no longer merely cannons with conventional artillery shells, but also includes rocket-assisted shells with a range of up to tens of kilometers. My video about the weapons of World War I that joins the warfare doctrine forever ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.